Well, I believe that Israel at this juncture will have to maintain its posture, basically try not to interfere directly or indirectly with the internal affairs in Syria itself. Having said that, since we do not know how the conflict in Syria will end, there's no question that both Syria and for that matter also Turkey will be the most affected by whatever happens in um, Syria in a post-Assad era. That is the reason for Israel to prepare itself. They have to prepare to receive refugees. They have to, to prepare to deal with insurgents, be that from Al-Qaeda or other Islamists who might want to take advantage and attack Israel to, in order to distract attention from what's going on in Syria itself. It is entirely possible that in the wake of the potential collapse of the, of the Assad regime, Hezbollah might, have to, might decide to do something instigated, of course, by Iran. So there are all kinds of possibilities that could take place, and hence Israel will have to be prepared. My also feeling is that it's really so important for Israel to mend its relations with Turkey. This is the time when Turkey and Israel ought to be able to sit down together and develop also a collaborative approach in order to be to be effective, to effectively deal with the post-Assad era. This is really, really very important, and I hope that um, Israel and Turkey will be thinking in these terms and, uh, and begin a process of rapprochement between them in order to deal with the larger order, which is the crisis in Syria. Uh, my feeling has been all along that, contrary to some who say, well, this is not the time to reach out for the Palestinians because of the uproar in the region, uh, because the Palestinians remain factional, because Israel has different kind of commitments regarding the West Bank, etc. My feeling is that this is actually the precise time, the, good, the best time, for Israel to reach out to the Palestinians and begin a process to move in the, the peace process because Israel has larger threats coming both from Iran as well as Syria. And what is best for Israel is to quieten its backyard. Israel does not need a fifth column uh, right sitting in the West Bank and Israel itself. This is a, it could be extremely dangerous development. And uh, wisdom dictates that Israel begin to think in those terms and not use the excuses of the regional turmoil to avoid dealing with the inevitable, and that is negotiating a two-state solution with the Palestinians.